Hey guys, welcome back. So last time we were able to style our flat list to look like this. So now we are going to go ahead and create an, a floating action button that we're going to have here that we, a user can always click and create a new contact. So after we do that, then we'll go ahead and create a layout that the user will use to create a contact on the create contact screen. To get started, we're going to go to this layout here. So I'm going to come in here and let me first clean up this stuff because we don't need it. Then we want to go to a component. So in the component, I'm going to wrap everything here in a fragment because I don't want the floating action button to tamper with anything like this. Then here we're gonna have a touchable opacity. So with a touchable opacity, of course, we are gonna have an icon that the user can see, the plus icon. So let's import, let's have some icon. Name will be equal to plus. Then I'm going to give it a color of white. And when we do that, you notice that it's not showing that's because we are saying that the color is white. So here, let's have a style. So for the style, I will create a separate style for the floating action button. So we'll have styles dot floating action button. So let's go to this side and create that style. So we're going to come here and down at the end, have another object for floating action button. So first off, we'll have a background color. So the background color, let's use red for now. Save. So when we save, we also need to make sure that we are saving here. So when we save, you notice that now down here, where is it? I actually saw it. So let's continue to style it. First off, we want to give it a, a width and height. So for the width, I'm going to give it a 55. Let's also give it a height. So we want it to always be stuck here. So we're going to give it a position of absolute position absolute so when we say absolute it's gonna start out here but what we want it what we want is it to be from the bottom so bottom we want it to only be 45 when you save it comes here now we want it to the right so we can say right then for the right we can say like five so now you see that it is here so let it come up at least up to here. So let's give it let's give it 10 from the right. And now we need it to be round. We need the plus icon to be in the center. So what we can do is make it give it a border radius of a hundred. That makes it round. So now to put everything in the center, we just justify content center and align items center save now we need to increase the basically the the plus icon increase the font size so we're gonna go here and add an add size so the size you can say maybe 21 so when you save you notice that now it is big and it is always there okay so this is looking good now let's handle the on press so we can go to the create contact page so we can quickly come over here and do on press so on press is gonna be a function, it's just gonna to navigate to create contact. So navigate, we are going to be getting it from our user navigation hook. So we can quickly come over here and do const navigate equals user navigation. Let's make sure we are importing it. We need to import create contact. I believe it's create contact. How did we call it? So I'm going to go to our constants. So in constants, route names, create contact. It's called create contact. Okay. Let's import it, save. And now when we click it, you see we come here. So this looks good to me. Now let's go here and create our layout to go ahead and create a contact. So here we're gonna go to the create contact screen, which is here. Now we are not returning the view like this anymore. We want to return the create contact component. This, let's make sure we can create it and import it. So in components, we come here, new file, create contact index.js, rnfe. Then it's gonna be create contact component. So first off, we want it to be white, so we can have a simple style. So the style. It's fine to have it as container. So here, let's import styles from styles. So import styles from styles. Let's create those styles. So 
So for the container, we can say we want it to be flex one that makes it spread over the whole screen. And also we want it to be background color white. So let's make sure this is good. So save it. Now when we come over here and save, we need to go to our create contact screen and also import our component. So import it. And now it's gonna load. So when it loads and we click, this is now white. So first off, from the, our UI, we are going to need those inputs, the inputs to put the contact name, first name, last name, phone number, and also choose the country. We are going to use our container component, the one that has a scroll view in it. So we can quickly get it. Save. So inside here, let's create an input to pick the first name. So input. See, we have our input, it's empty. Now let's give it some props. So we need to pass a label. So the label for this one is going to be the first name. Then let's pass a press holder. I believe this is okay for now. So I'm gonna duplicate it for the last name, the phone number. So we can come here and say last name. Then this is gonna be for the phone number. Then this can be enter phone. We are going to be having a button to submit this. So down here, we can have a button. Remember we have a custom button. So we may as well use that. So custom button, let's import it. So we can import it like this. Custom button, save. So let's make it primary. And for the text, for the title, you can just say submit. Okay, so looking good. So now we have the first name, last name, then the phone number. Let's change this one to last. Okay, we have the submit. Okay, so we need a way to actually pick out the country, the country code. So there's this library here that we're gonna use. So this is the one we are gonna use. So we're gonna install it real quick. So we can come over here and add it. So as it installs, remember how we specified that we can add any icon to these inputs. So here I'm going to specify icon. So the icon remember can be any JSX. When we're using this component, we need to import it as country picker. So I'm just going to copy this over here and put it in there. Then let me clean it up a bit. So it should be just a component country code so all this i'm gonna remove the values i don't have now if you want it to have a search you can pass with filter if you want it to have flags you can pass with flag if you want it to have the country name inside here you can pass country name but for us it's gonna be false we don't need it we just need the calling code so with alpha filter i don't know what that one is about actually so with calling code we want it to be true so we just pass it with emoji that makes the flags kind of curvy so on select is required so we just say on select it's gonna be a function so with the function so this is what gets called when a user picks a country as we'll see so let's go ahead and close it save let's import the country picker so we can import it like this like this so let's import it Okay. Okay, so let's remove this. We don't need it. We don't need all this stuff. Save. So now, if we come and go back to the component, you see that we have select country here. When we click it, we can see that we can now pick a country. Okay, so when we pick it, nothing is happening. That's because we need to configure it a little bit more, as we'll see. Now that we are here, we need this to be on the left and this on the right. So what we can do is specify the icon position. So icon position will be left, left. So that puts it directly here. So looking good. So about the, the input, we also would want to have some padding on the left, somewhere like here. So we can come over here and, spe and specify an, an input style. 
So I'm pretty sure our input is not taking in style, but let's specify it, then we will we will go ahead and update it. So here we can pass like 10. So when we save, nothing is happening. That's because the input might not be accepting this. So let's check on it. Oh, it's called style. So let's make sure we are passing it as style. Save and yeah, so now this is good. So remember we need a way to pick the picture from the camera or from the phone. So we're gonna put up here, we are gonna put like a thumbnail that the user can click to pick the picture. Now it can be a good idea if we have like a press holder for the a press holder image for like an avatar. So I'm gonna go to the constants and then I will create another file called general .js. So in here I will have a remote image that basically is uh, that basically is a default avatar for the image. So it's called I've called it default image URI. So you will be able to find this in the source code if you want to use it. So here, before we go to the first name, we can have an image. So for the image here, let's give it a source. So source for now is going to be our default avatar. Then we will be updating it, of course, as we, we implement the uploads. So for now, we are just going to use the default image URI. Let's import it. Save. So it's not showing because we need to pass the style. So here, we can have a style. It definitely needs the width and height. So styles dot, going to call it something like image view. OK. So in the styles, we can go and create the image view. Let's give it some width, so we can have width of, let's change it to like 150. Also, let's give it some height, like 150. And um, it's not showing yet, <coughs> so let's check it out. So we are saying we need an image, should have a source, then the style. So it looks like it needs us to specify width and height inline. So let's do that, width, height save and you see that it shows up here so we want it to go to the center like here and also have some border radius so what we can do is for the image view we can add a border radius of a hundred so to put it to the center we can say align self center align self center and that puts it to the center. So having the image view is not enough. We need a text that tells the user to maybe pick a picture. So we're going to go down here where we have it and have a text that will say something like choose image. Okay. So we also need to go to the center. So styles can be choose text. So let's come here and also create that. So choose text, we'll have a color of primary, then this align everything to the center. It should be clickable, but we'll be implementing that on data. So for now, we have been able to create the floating action button and also this form to create a contact. So in the next video, I'm going to come in and we are going to be creating a contact and adding this contact to our server and also to our list. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you soon.